Now that we are successful in creating our organizational units, we can proceed to creating our users. In the admin console, click users. On the left pane, you can see the OUs that we created in the previous video. Before creating users, you must choose which OU you want to place the accounts. So for example, we want to create accounts for teachers. There are two ways to create an account, individual creation and bulk upload. To create individual accounts, click add new user and supply the needed information. For example, Jose Rizal. Then let's put period. As you can see here, the organizational unit is from DepEd Demo to schools to school A to teachers and non-teaching staff. It is important to identify the correct organizational unit for the account. And then you may choose to automatically generate a password or put the password that you want. And then click add new users. As you can see, we are successful in creating the account. Let's refresh. There. Let's go to school teachers. There. We have placed a set result in the correct um, organizational unit. The second way is the bulk upload users. This is very helpful if you want to create multiple accounts. So for example, let's click bulk upload users. And then we have to download the CSV template. Now let's open the Excel file. Let's zoom. And all right. So for example, we want to create accounts for undress in the fashion. And then for example, his email address is and then the password is password. As you can see, these columns are required information. So you must supply information to these columns, including column letter F, which is the organizational unit path. This is very important because all the users that will be created will be placed in the organizational unit path. So for example, we want to put this account in the teacher's um, organizational unit. You must look the organizational unit path. So for example, since school is a top level or OU, that is the first path. Then second path is school A. Third path is the teachers and non-teaching staff. So let's put slash schools slash school A slash teachers and non-teaching staff. Please take note that this is case sensitive and spacing is also important. So that's how you put information to this CSV file. What if you want to create more accounts? For example, one Luna Antonio Luna. And you want to automate the email address. So we can use the concatenate feature of Excel. Concatenate. And then let's click the first cell, comma, then put dot application, comma, the last name cell, comma, application at fmemo.com. 
application. And this is the result. Then you just have to drag this. All right. Okay. And then also drag this. And also drag this. Then save. Then let's go back. Click bulk up producer. Click attach CSV. Users. Open. And then upload. Then wait for the result. There, our bulk upload user info is completed. Now we can refresh. And our accounts are already created for Andres, for Juan, and for Antonio. Let's check if they are in the correct organizational unit. Click Schools, School A, Teachers, and Non-Teaching Staff. Okay, we have successfully placed them in the correct OU. What if we want to transfer them to another OU? Just click the account, click More, Change Organizational Unit. So, for example, they transfer to another office or school, click school B, click continue, click change, refresh, let's pull, let's go to school B, and as you can see here, that account of Andres is now here in the school B OU. So that's how you create accounts in the Google Admin Console.